Hey Virgo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 18th through the 24th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have Death, the Emperor, Ace of Wands, Empress, Nine of Wands, Four of Wands, wow. Ace of Swords, Five of Swords, Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is about you realizing that your sacrifices and your hard work is about to triple, quadruple everything pay off. Like you are about to transform into something that sounds cliche. I don't like throwing cliche words out here, and I know I do it a lot, but I, there's no other way to describe it. I feel like right now, Virgo, if you know, you know. You're doing something amazing. I feel like you've been doing a lot of intentional things to elevate your life right now. I feel like when it comes to work, you're pursuing the types of positions that you know will bring in the most amount of money. You're making decisions in business that are going to be successful. It's like everything that you're doing that you're doing has been well calculated planned out and strategized and now not only are you seeing the return and investment but you're also getting a double dose of like recognition um like information like i feel like you're getting all kinds of offers left and right but the biggest part about this entire situation virgo is that you're realizing who you really are throughout this entire process so if you've had a recent um, let's say job opportunity, promotion, leadership position. I feel like that alone has made you realize, wow, I'm actually really good at this. You know, I should have given myself more credit when I started. Maybe this is something that at the very beginning you were hard on yourself. Maybe you even, you know, were criticizing yourself or you just put extra pressure. And while part of that was, you know, for the growth process, I feel like you may have not realized that you are always going to be great at this and there was just a little bit of that lack of confidence at the beginning but now i feel like you've surpassed that and you're actually owning something here you're owning who you are you're owning how good you are at something um and it's bringing this opportunity to the limelight where it's like you're able to see something from a completely different perspective because when the ace of wands and the ace of swords comes through that's that's a change in perspective but also you finding something out that even you know aids this change of perspective it's like you're coming to this grand realization that what you've been doing you should have been doing for a very long time you may even have that moment where it's like you're so successful you're doing so great but you may even be thinking like why did i take so long to do this you know i was going to put effort into this anyway why did i wait so long to make this investment to make this move but i feel like the challenge here is to try to not think that way. I feel like right now there's no point in thinking about the past, what you could have done differently or, you know, how much sacrifices you made. If anything, right now you should think about just how much amazing work you've done in creating this opportunity for yourself. I feel like you're really going to step into a different um, energy completely. I feel like this is the portal card and this is you kind of realizing, all right, I'm on the other side of this. I'm no longer waiting to be successful. I am successful. I feel like death and five of swords, this may be that very internal inner conflict that happens when we realize we're not the same person we used to be. It's almost like we, we may even be sad that we lost a part of ourselves, but at the same time, we know that what we lost was simply just the less evolved less wise version now we're wiser where we know what to do we know better we've entered a rebirth era and so maybe this five of swords if anything is you realizing okay i'm not the same person i used to be but everything that i went through was a part of me becoming my best self this is you kind of fighting through all those battles fighting through all those challenges to get to this point where now you realize why everything happened why that you know cycle or why those cycles occurred and now it's like you're just having this grand realization that everything in your life has prepared you for this point and now there's no looking back there's only looking forward we also have high priestess at the bottom of the deck which to me is saying that your intuition has been guiding you through this i feel like all along you've known that you were good 
that you, you know, are meant to be in this position, but I feel like now you really believe it. Now it's not just intuition, now it's reality, and that's the difference. All right, let's clarify the Ace of Swords. All right, so we have the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which to me, again, it goes back to you having to realize this after moment after moment of doubting yourself. Maybe this is you even betraying yourself at some point in the past and, you know, not allowing yourself to see how great you are. I feel like, you know, you were actually your worst en enemy at some point. But again, I feel like that was all maybe a part of your manifestation. Maybe subconsciously, you know, you being hard on yourself um, was you trying to push yourself to see if you could actually maybe deal with the intensity of it, the, the responsibility. There's something here where like you had to push yourself in a certain way in order to test and prove that you could actually do it. So maybe that's just something that is a part of your way of, you know, um, challenging yourself and testing yourself before you take on a new opportunity. But overall, I feel like the Ace of Swords is just about you having this great realization and now seeing things for what they really are, seeing yourself for what you really are. Um, we have the Hierophant, the Judgment, and the Sun, which to me just confirms everything um, that I've said because the Hierophant is you becoming a master of something. This is you realizing, okay, I am in it for the long run. I've established myself in this position. I'm investing in this. This is my legacy. This is my future. I am, you know, the, the Hierophant. I am the one on top of this. I feel like this is you embracing the status that you have now, embracing the title, the position. This is you saying, I'm not looking back at myself and thinking I'm not good enough. I am more than that. I feel like you're really realizing your value, your worth, and what you bring to the table in this new environment. I feel like overall, you're also extremely happy and satisfied. Um, I feel like this is you re rejoicing, celebrating. I feel like this is you seeing yourself in a new direction. I also feel like for a lot of you, this is making your inner child proud. I feel like you're just really happy that you got to this point and you're able to say, I did it, I made it. Um, with the judgment, I also feel like this is you kind of having that wake up call, that judgment call. Um, really, this could just also be you giving yourself um, maybe even not definition because that doesn't make sense, but I just feel like you see yourself differently, but in a, in a really good way. I also feel like judgment is talking about how you make decisions differently. You really think about what you're doing differently. You do it all under this new perspective. I feel like you're thinking about things with more intention. You're more calculated because now everything is so important, you know, that you maintain that optimism, that perspective. I just feel like right now you're so happy and you're so, um, ready to just keep this going that you're just trying to not let any negative thought get in the way all right let's clarify the emperor two of cups at the bottom of the deck so i do feel like there could be somebody in your life right now that is also here to like support you and help you kind of see the side of yourself i feel like with the two of swords eight of wands ten of swords and king of cups this could be you not realizing that, you know, if you need help, if you have, you know, something that you feel is affecting you, if you feel defeated in some way while you're going through all these amazing changes, if something is overwhelming you, don't think that you need to handle it on your own. I feel like this is someone here that's willing to kind of put their, um, they're part of the work in and, and help you through this. I feel like somebody here could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that is trying to offer you their love. I feel like they're trying to communicate with you, but they don't They don't want to seem overbearing. They don't want to make you feel like you have to um, relinquish any part of your status, or maybe they don't want to make you feel like you're not good enough. But I think what they're really trying to do is say, listen, Virgo, like you're amazing, but if you need help with something, I can help you just so that you feel a little bit of that weight, uh, that weight not on your backs you know anymore i feel like somebody here's just trying to lift that off um and i feel like they're trying to communicate with you or they're going to communicate with you very soon and all you have to do is just be open to receiving that support because i feel like somebody here is just trying to help you they're not trying to make you think that you're not good enough or undermine your skill or value at all i feel like this person just genuinely wants to love you wants to help you um and this could be somebody that is your friend your partner family member but overall, I feel like this is an incredibly amazing um, reading for you because I really think that you're 
you're realizing so much about yourself and it's in the most positive light. It's very powerful um, and I'm very excited for you. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.